and we are live. Hi, everybody. I am so glad you're here. I'm going to give everybody just a couple minutes to come through since we had a little bit of a technical difficulty getting started for the very first time. But I am so excited you're here. And today is Wednesday, which means it's time to allow some spirit wisdom to flow through. And if you're new to me, I want to thank you for crossing paths with me. My name is Meredith Johnson with The Healing Hummingbird. And I am a certified shaman and Reiki practitioner. My purpose through my business is to help compassionate, go getting spiritual people reclaim their power and heal themselves so that they can illuminate their life purpose and embrace a path of joy and peace. So if that resonates with you, I am so happy and I welcome you here um, and welcome you here for every Wednesday where Spirit will want to share some messages for everyone. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with the message. I'm thinking we'll meet for maybe 10 to 15 minutes, just depending uh, to make sure Spirit has some extra time to pop in and share any additional messages live. So if you're here, I'd love to know. Um, if I say something that you like, make sure to hit the like button. And if I say something that you love, make sure to hit the love button so that we know that Spirit's messages are coming through loud and clear. Okay, and then also, um, we may have some time for some Q&A at the end, so make sure to leave a comment down below with any questions or comments you have um, about cicadas, since that is our topic this week is cicada medicine. Okay, so cicadas do seem to be everywhere, but what Spirit wants to talk about this week are the uh, brood, uh, the particular cicadas that are going to be in my area, which are literally billions with a B, and they stretch across 15 states. I'm here in the Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky area, and these cicadas come in huge cycles of 17 years. And my spirit guide came through the other night and started giving me all these beautiful messages about the meaning of the cicadas. Um, and if you're familiar with them, then you know we're at the end of April, which is just about when they're about to come out. <laughs> Um, which is part of why Spirit really pushed me to do this live when I'm doing it. Um, so here we go. This is a beautiful part of working with Spirit. Sometimes they want to interrupt the process, which is what they're doing right now, <laughs> um, to deliver a live message about the meaning of cicadas, um, which is to go with the flow and to accept divine timing because it may not be the same timing as what you're thinking logically. If you know me, you know I'm a planner. And I was thinking, okay, Spirit, so when we do our lives on Facebook, I want this background, and I would like everything to be so-so, just perfect, and they're like, no, no, we're going to do cicadas, and guess who's going live on Wednesday? It's going to be you. So <laughs> um, I think that ties in with cicadas because they all somehow know to all come up out of the ground all at the same time. So I think the number one um, surprise message about cicadas is divine timing and welcoming divine timing into your life and being receptive to that. So let's get into some of the messages my spirit guide gave me the other night. I have invited them here into our sacred healing space in case there's any live messages they'd like to continue to share with you. So I remember the last time they were here. So we had said before they come every 17 years, right? So the last time they were here was 2004. I was in middle school. Terrified. Okay. Did not love that. Did not love that for me. Um, kids would throw them at each other. They were really, really loud. Um, like a normal summer, you know, you'll kind of hear some some um, locusts or cicada kind of chirping in the background. These are in huge swarms. They will cover a plant. They'll cover the base of a tree because this is like, you know, they have a few weeks to get it done and then get back in the ground for another 17 years. So they're super active. Um, but it might be because they've been sleeping for so long 
they are kind of clumsy. So I remember walking from the bus in the parking lot to the doors of my school and they will just fall out of a tree and hit you in the head or they'll just run into you <laughs> because there's just so many of them and you're in their territory if you're outside while they are here. So that's the biggest memory I have of them was just being scared. Oh, I hope you saw that the lights flickered, um, which one of my spirit guides does um, give electrical signs. So I hope that you saw that in the video. So the first message that this particular spirit guide came forth with was the cicadas come to remind you of a cycle that you have the opportunity to heal. And now this is a big cycle. We're talking 17 years. Um, you know, if you're in the same area that I am or in one of the 15 states that these particular cicadas are going to be in. So that would be a pretty big cycle. So think back to a theme or event from your life from that long ago, from 17 years ago, because it could be coming up again. Um, and if this message is resonating with you, it might be helpful for you to research the kind in your area because the timing can be different. You know, maybe you have cicadas that come up every five years, every 10 years, something like that. But it's an opportunity for you to look into your history and see, um, you know, if, if anything is coming up or if anything is needing to be released. So to kind of give you an idea, I'm being urged to share this now. Um, for me, you know, my cycle may have something to do with fear because that's my biggest memory from the last time that they were here or that was my reaction to them. Okay, so now they're revealing. So it's not, it's, you know, the fear was the reaction, but what really happened, right? It was something really unexpected. So maybe my cycle has to do with fear of the unknown or trusting and accepting the flow of nature and of the universe. Another theme from that time in my life was I was in eighth grade and I was getting ready to transition into high school. So I may have an opportunity to level up in my studies or my career as soon as they emerge. So just to kind of give you an idea, I wanted to share that example from my personal life. Um, so another message of the cicada that my spirit guide shared was that they represent abundance and miracles um, just because of the sheer vastness of the swarm that's going to be here, you know, that's an invitation to embrace, you know, it's like, I just remember it literally, you will see them, you know, almost like a flock of birds, but it's a flock of insects, right? So it could also have to do with shifting your perception and things like that, but embracing and allowing abundance and, mir and miracles to enter your life, just like the cicadas do, is another one of the messages. And um, another one that they gave me in advance was that it's a huge vibrational shift. Now, I think this may be one of the most important messages because even if you're not in one of the areas where all of the cicadas will be, there's going to be so many of them coming out of the ground, it will probably affect you in your area if you are energetically sensitive. So it's a huge vibrational shift and a need or an invitation to communicate from your heart because that's one of the first things they start doing, right? They come out, they emerge, and they have a lot to say. Hey, Don, so glad you're here. So glad to see you. I see your comment there. Um, but another thing about emerging and communicating from your heart, um, my spirit guide wanted to tie that back into my original fear that I had of them as a kid. Um, and he encouraged me, although, you know, our spirit guides are so understanding. It's like, hey, I get it. You know, it's a lot. It's They're big bugs and they have a lot to say. But he did encourage me to be curious and receptive to them just as a marvel and miracle of nature, rather than feel um, disturbed by their <laughs> numbers and noise. Let's keep it real. Um, okay, so now I would love to hear from you. Have you ever experienced cicadas before? 
And if you remember, what was it like? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll make sure to check in for some questions and comments and see if um, Spirit wants to share any tidbits retroactively. But since we have some time, if you are interested in feeling called to, let's pull some cards. So I will invite you here. We'll do three different groups. I'll invite you here into the healing space. And actually, let's take, let's take a deep breath in here. So let's tap into your heart space and take a deep breath in with me. And an exhale out. You can invite your spirit guides into the space with you. And just ask what number resonates in your heart space. One, two, or three. Okay, now that you have your number, Let's see what spirit wants to share. Okay, so we're gonna start with group number one. Spirit, what do you have to share with group number one? Let's say for the week ahead, since they'd like for us to meet weekly. What's the weekly message for group number one? Ah, okay. So group number one, you have the sage. That might be mirrored, but it says sage. Be devoted and committed. So I often got this card when I was studying to be a shaman. Um, it was a one-year program. So maybe one year might be a significant time period for you. Um, but one of the messages of this card is to embrace divine timing, right? Which was one of the messages of the cicada. So that ties in perfectly. Um, I also see that he is featured outside. So maybe connecting with nature could be important to you. Um, I'm also getting the message that there might be a special tree around you. So there could be a type of tree that's around your house that you really love. Um, and spirits urging you to either connect with that tree directly or maybe look up the meaning of the tree. You know, an, an easy way to do that is to type in, um, you know, whatever, blank medicine. Like today's message is cicada medicine. So that is, you know what, group number one, I think you have another card. Let me see what it is to complement the sage. Okay. And we have guardian angel. You are not alone. So for group number one, they're asking you to be devoted and to remind you, and they want to remind you that you are not alone. That when you devote yourself to this path and you trust spirit, that they will always walk with you. So that is the message we have for group number one moving forward into the week. I hope that resonates with you. And now let's move on to group number two. If number two resonated with you, let's see what your spirit guides want you to know for the week ahead. Group number two. What does spirit want to share with group number two? Okay, we have She-Wolf. And it says, unleash the wild within. So we did just have a full moon. So this could be talking about your connection to the divine feminine or connection to the moon cycles. Um, for me, anytime the moon is brought up, this also reminds me of uh, women's health. If you identify as female, you might want to look into that. Or just natural cycles in your body, no matter what you identify as. But I'm feeling there's a real need here to follow a natural instinct. Like if you have the urge to communicate with someone um, or to just post something or announce something, um, Spirit's inviting you to do that and to kind of just let it out. You know what I mean? Um, 
like most of us walk around thinking about what would what would be appropriate in this environment. Like if you work in an office or something like that, you may feel really restrained about what you're allowed to do and say. So spirit saying within the next week, you're going to have an opportunity to kind of just release something. Um, and it doesn't have to be like in the workplace, you know, they'll provide us a, a safe space and time for you to do that. But they're saying, you know, they're talking about instincts and it's almost like an animal instinct. Like, I know I have to say this and I know I have to do it now. And they're, they're telling you that that is spirit with you, that that's divine guidance and to let it happen is what they're saying. Just let it happen. Let it come out. Let it flow. That is within your best interest. So that is our message for group number two. And for our last group, group number three. Okay. Again, we are asking spirit what they would like to share with you about the week ahead. For group number three, okay, and this one flipped over, you have the drum, and it says dream and journey. So I feel there's a need to, spirits making me feel like the rhythm of the drum, and they're talking about routines and grounding. So they're talking about establishing a routine, you know, trying to wake up around the same time of day, trying to go to bed at the same time of day, and to really establish a rhythm and flow of your life. Oh, they just had me start shuffling. Let me see. <clears throat> okay, and you also got the spring card. This one also flipped over spring and it says see your seeds grow okay so with the drum and spring I'm picking up on the routine that we talked about establishing making space for manifestations to come through so this reminds me of part of one of my practices as a shaman is holding sacred space or creating an environment that allows health and healing to happen. So by creating a routine, um, and I feel like this, this is more of like a spiritual routine, more of a spiritual practice. So maybe like meditation or journaling or something like that will allow your manifestations to come in. I was going to say faster, but they said bigger and brighter. So <laughs> Again, that was the drum and spring. And they're wanting you to establish that routine to allow those manifestations to come in. And um, there's also a message here about gardening. Um, so maybe you're a gardener or you connect with flowers in some way, um, but Spirit's bringing that up as well as something that could be really healing for you to interact with was his flowers and plants. Okay, that is going to bring our live to an end. Let's see, Dawn says, love, rhythm, and flow, drum and spring, creating sacred space. Absolutely, that was a beautiful message from Spirit that came through. Um, so again, if you have any comments or questions about cicadas, um, go ahead and drop them in the comments down below. I will make sure to post a, a picture of the cicadas that I'm talking about just in case that you've never seen them. Um, but yeah, so again, I want to thank you for crossing paths with me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. I'm sending you so much love and light and I will see you again next week. Bye.